Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature, Agumatica 2022 R2, for automatic selection of tax zones. So in Acumatica, this is a list of our tax zones. And when we create an order, for example, Acumatica looks at the customer itself. So we take a look at the customer. We'll just bring up an existing customer. And we go over to the shipping tab. Acumatica first looks at the tax zone. And if there's a tax zone there, it applies it and passes it over to the sales order. However, Acumatica can automatically select the tax zone based on the shipping. So for example, if we take a look at an existing order, you can see this is an order to this customer. If we look at the customer, there is no tax zone. And if we look at the shipping tab, you'll notice that we're shipping via FedEx. Now, if we look up our different ship vias, you'll notice there's a checkbox here for common carrier. Acumatica looks at the delivery method, and if it is a common carrier delivery method, it will then look at the shipping address and determine the tax zone. Now, there are exceptions to that. There are situations where the customer may do a pickup, a local delivery. So if we go down to the end, there may be a will call or something like that, and that's not common carrier. That is the customer picking it up. A van delivery or something like that typically is not common carrier, therefore it is not calculated based on the shipping address. Instead, it's calculated on the point of presence, typically where the location that you're shipping from is located. Every state's different, of course, but that's the general rule. So when we look at this, it's a FedEx delivery, it's common carrier. If we go to addresses, you can see that we're shipping to a certain postal code here. But let's check this and go back to the default address. I, I changed that previous to recording this video. And if we go over to the financial tab, you can see that the customer tax zone is Indiana State Tax Zone. Now, if we go back to our address and we override this address and we put a zip code in here and we hit the save button. And if we go over to our taxes tab, you can see the taxes calculating automatically. Of course, Acumatica will look at the item and see what category it's in. And assuming it's taxable and all that's set up, then you'll have a tax here. If you use the same example as me, you'll find that this computer is tax exempt, so you won't see anything here. But if we go back to our tax zone, and we'll take a look at all the tax zones here. So we could see Canada, Alberta. Let's take a look at that. And it has its own tax ID that's associated, has all the rates in it. We go to ship to addresses. Our tax zone in the sales demo is not quite set up, but if we go over here to states and we pick our country and we add a state, we've now properly defined this tax zone in our demo database. We save it and we go over to our order. We'll change the address. be Canada. We'll pick our state. And notice we get an error message of the postal code because that postal code's not mapped to anything in that state or country. And if we go back to financials, you can see Acumatic automatically picked up this customer tax zone. So that's it. That's how that works in Acumatica. Remember, if you're troubleshooting this, make sure you have a delivery method that's common carrier. Otherwise, Acumatica will ignore the shipping address and it'll use your either your branch or your warehouse tax zone. And when we take a look at the address, Acumatica can pick the tax based on the country, state, or postal code. Find that over here when you're selecting and setting up your tax zone, country, states, postal codes. And then if you're having difficulty at all with regards to, well, I don't have my state set up for Canada or another country, you can go over to the countries area in Acumatica. And you can pick your country.
And you can see here the state validation. There is no validation, but there is a lookup. And there's all your states there. You can populate this table any way you want. And that's what brings that up when you're on an order and you're doing your lookups. So thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video useful, please click the like button. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.